Grace is my oldest sister. We called her Ate. We are five girls and I am the second. During our younger years, Grace loved to dress up. She always had new dress, even without any occasion. While in college, she used to bring her new clothes to school and chains, so my parents will not see it. She also loved to wear makeup, and, and, and her nails were always manicured. Grace loved to party. I was her chaperone every time she was invited to one. She also asked me to write letters to her godmother who was based in the United States. In return, for all of this, whatever her godmother sent her, she let me use it, especially her beautiful headband with rhinestones and her nail polish. From elementary to high school, we studied in the same school. In fact, we graduated in the same year, year 1953. We became close during those years. I remember classes were suspended or cut every time we had teachers meeting. But instead of going home, she would ask me to go with her and her classmates to LVN and some Pagita pictures. I think Grace had aspiration of becoming an actress. I consider Ate as one of a kind. She also traveled to many countries, courtesy of her, of her son, John Carlo. Countries which I haven't reached yet, and sent me pictures of the numerous places she visited. In, res, in retrospect, I would say, Ate had enjoyed her life to the fullest. I know Grace is happy wherever she is. All her pains and sufferings are gone. And the most important thing, she will be with her loved ones, Juanito and Len and my parents. To the people who gave their precious time to comfort Ate, offered mass, said prayers, brought flowers and foods, sent cards, and made her last days a happy one, please accept my our heartfelt gratitude words cannot express our appreciation for what you did the world became a better place for ate because of people like you my sisters and i are truly grateful to all of you god bless you